so this is what we had from the last lesson. Uh, this lesson we are going to add some styles to uh, touch up different aspects of this page. Okay, so if we go into our default uh, CSS, I'm going to get rid of this padding here and see if we can, um, so that's basically does that. And I can add uh, 20 to this section here. So that will um, fix it for both sides for us. So that's, that's the first thing to do. And then we have um, our search. So if I target our search field, I'll set the height to 31 pixels and set the border to one pixel and the color uh, is that's that and solid okay um, we're going to attach this class to our search so search field get rid of this and make it search okay so just um, increase the height a bit um, and set the border so search row we say margin so I want to push everything down by 30 pixels okay so I'm going to add that to this row here so this would be our search row so reset the screen and we can see the space is there which is what we want um, I have a few colors um, not matching up properly which we could change so I'm going to hijack all the uh, primary buttons okay so I want the background color to match our own um, green color okay so also set the border to uh, to be the same all right reset that and we can see uh, the color has changed but when we mouse over it something um, changes it so we could copy this here and uh, target the hover so there are ways of minimizing this code but I'm just duplicating it just so uh, it's good for reference points so that's it it's fixed it we could have used comma and um, saved the lines but um, I'm going to change the color so we couldn't do that in this instant paste it there okay so when we hover over it we'll have that slight color change okay but when we click it we can notice that uh, the focus is all wrong so I can copy this uh, just duplicate it and everything else stays the same okay so when we click everything is fine so we could have saved uh, duplicating that section of code but um, it's, it's fine for now when we get to using mixins and so on we'll learn a lot more okay so the go we want to target um, so I'm going to create a new go class okay so we're going to do something a bit more fanciful there have it um, start properly so have this active which we could also work on so if I come here uh, target our label um, success set the background color to um, 1AB394 okay so that's it done so we could do something with the sizes so, um, so if we say label uh, for large labels we want to have the padding as 10 pixels uh, left and right 16 top down and font size is 18 pixels and uh, line height will be 133 um, it's, it's a good idea to pause and re reset the screen in each time each case if you want to know what each of these do but you need to attach the label uh, to the HTML so if I duplicate this I'll use the same for small and 
the difference is really in the, the padding. Um, so, and I could reduce the font size a bit, uh, reduce the line height. Um, copy this, and we have that for, for our extra small. I think I've missing the P here and here. Okay, so extra small um, is the same as small, but we could just reduce the padding here and here should be five. Okay. Um, I mean, two minds about changing anything else, but I think it's fine. Okay, so if we come here, so we need to attach those labels. Okay, so it's a small one here, reset, so we can see everything um, has taken effect. Okay, we'll use the rests at some point here and there. So let's um, sort out the coloring for our pagination. So we target the A tags for our pagination and we want the color uh, to be a green color like that. And we also want to use um, exclamation mark or bang so we override bootstraps one. Okay, so that's what, that's what we have. So there's a few things we could do like this space in here, we could um, uh, take care of that and and all this section um, aligning them properly and so on. So, but I will leave all that for uh, the next lesson. So this concludes this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson.